Welcome back to Let's Play Bomberman Hero. Today, Slush Mountains, slightly more interesting and better than the previous several parts. Well, thank God. Oh, hey, kitty. <laughs> yes, we're finally going to fight her, but not till next week. Oh, shit, he dodged. That's... Yeah. Yeah, you don't generally get enemies doing that in this game. They just kind of stand there going like, Hey, bombs, what's up? Or they just float around in a not predetermined path, but... Uh, those snowmen, their heads are actually bombs, and uh, if, if you let them throw enough snowballs, they'll throw their heads at you, uh, at which point you can't get points from them, so be sure to kill them quickly. Especially since this is a land driven on points. <laughs> I think we've determined that by now. Him and his cool throwing logging glasses, and what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah, a monkey in ice. It throws an entire chunk at you randomly. <laughs> I didn't piss you off. What's wrong with you? Nothing pisses you off in this game. They're just pissed off already. Oh yeah, you just run to the irritable creatures going, "What the fuck am I?" <laughs> I am no friend of these creatures. Beautiful new level. Shitty same music we've heard a million times. Yeah. I, I, I still like the bass track, but I've heard this bass track. <laughs> Don't expect any new music. We are nearing the end of the game. If they haven't come up with anything new by now, there's no way you're gonna hear anymore. Those quitters, too busy eating pizza and designing dancing characters and characters that don't know how to dodge or even attack at that. At least it's a good composer. Yeah, that's true. I gotta climb up this mountain. Ooh. Yeah. Good, because you're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> First time a yellow heart has actually been useful for me. Yeah. Every, every other time I picked it up, I had full health. This one actually seems, especially comparatively, you know, seeing levels like the, uh, that Egyptian room, I guess to call it, because that's the only thing you could really call it. An Egyptian yeah. room and all that stuff, this is actually decently designed. Yeah, it is. Of course, there's nothing over on this side of the wall, so I don't get the point. This feels like the like maybe the graphics manager finally walked in after seeing all the shit they made. It's like, really? I hired you guys to make that? I'll show you what to make. And he makes this, and it's like, alright, just make the rest of the levels like this. And then when he leaves, the rest of it's shit. I don't know, I haven't, we're not at that point to figure that out. <laughs> uh, just you wait. I like the swinging monkey dance thing he did, where he's like, Bleh! The only <laughs> one of other two attacks he does. Young throwing his prison at you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Almost didn't see that missile there. Oh, look at this. I cleared that shit. <laughs> it hit your ass. The death perception in this game, and also the fact that you don't have to be hit by things to be hit by things is an interesting quality. Yeah, one of the few glitches, I guess. Or bugs. Nothing major, but it's just, you can tell when you cleared something, and it still gets you. I do remember playing this one game for the Xbox 360 where uh, you had to fight with, like, knives and all kinds of weapons you found around you, and it had the worst death perception when it came to weapons. Like, you'd swing your weapon right in front of them, it would do nothing, but then they'd swing, like, 50 yards from you and hit you. With, like, a knife! Ugh, I can't believe people still get away with that kind of stuff. <laughs> what game was that? Uh, you, people might remember, I don't remember at the top of my head, but it was a horror game where you're like fighting homeless people and you're framed for a murder or something like that. Oh, uh, fuck, fuck. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know the game, but first, it's, it's hey, Louis. it's Louie. <laughs> yeah, and that, this is, the only, this is the only other level he's in. Those signs are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I know that fucking game! I saw a Let's Play of it just a few months ago. I know! It's it's at the tip of my tongue. I... Tornado screws, why not on a mountain? It's the only thing yeah. keeping it together. They're the purpose of this level, because, yeah. You no, know, when you kill all of them, snowballs appear in the form of a bridge. That makes sense. You're free to scream, what? Oh, okay. What?! This is an interactive portion of Let's Play. 
I love how those things are just so nicely disguised on a white mountain. I don't even know why they're there. They, could they, they just add more snowmen or something? I guess Louie would be kind of a bad one against snowmen, though. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on you, explodes! I think this is like case 50 of who the fuck came up with this? This is. <laughs> I feel like we brought these guys to court just to the people versus Barman Hero. We'd win this case, but we have so much damn evidence. <laughs> oh. Hudson Soft, how do you plead? The fifth? <laughs> That's all I know how to do. It's Rick! We blame <laughs> Rick! Second shot, we can do it! Oh, never mind. No. Well, there's walls right over here. Condemned! Condemned, that's it! It's condemned! It's fucking- <laughs> God damn it! It almost took us five fucking minutes of this Let's Play to figure that out. <laughs> well, be thankful we didn't have to slow it to a crawl. That is true. We would have totally lost our gaming cred if we forgot that name. <laughs> It's not like I ever played it. It was fun. It just got frustrating because you'd be hit when you're not supposed to. I like how they uh, set up snowballs like over to this cliff when you can reach it anyway. It hopes that you just jump down, miss one of those balls, and die. <laughs> Way to be a dick. <laughs> Perfect. Wiggle his butt. <laughs> He's so cute, but he's giant. <laughs> yeah. Short circuit the level. No, it's no circuit. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I'm the one who woke up from a nap half hour ago. <laughs> hey, I'm tired on life. Okay. <laughs> hey, you've been recording all day, haven't you? Yep. <laughs> Those are useless. Yeah. This is snow circuit. Um... The paths look narrow, but they're not hard to get through. It's, it's a pretty easy level. I only had to redo it once, but that was just because I didn't make, the, I didn't get all the points. It looks pretty hard. I mean, every, so you see, like a lot of areas where you die. It's almost like a one well, of those Donkey Kong level with the railings. You just feel like you're gonna fall off. The hardest part is like uh, just getting the points. Getting anywhere isn't hard. That was the worst defensive wall of enemies I've ever seen. <laughs> We're gonna stop them here. Never mind. <laughs> Well, I'd say Bill owed me money, but that'd be a dick thing. <laughs> now we enter the most mountainous part of it, the Egyptian ruins. Okay, why not? I want to look at the, look at that shit. Nothing hit. What was that? It, it didn't hit anything. That was the uh, bomber, whatever the fuck, bomber jet uh, equivalent of the rolling bomb. Fires out four like the rolling bomb, but. Uh, they don't hit anything, and they're not likely to hit anything, because while I should have four, it's in one straight line, and nothing in this game is in a straight line. Like, not for the flying sections, so... Guarantee, even if you hold them down in the hopes of hitting multiple targets, they're not. I love all these mechanics where you're just like, screw it, I'm just gonna do what I usually do. And it's funny, because the uh, bomber copter, like, holding it out into four bombs is actually really useful. Like, I did that for the uh, Primus speedrun, and it was really helpful. This, it's not going to help me do shit. I like shooting bombs, but it's not hitting anything, so... <laughs> What's up with all these parrots in a cave? Yeah. You trapped this poor populace of parrots in this cave. In these... chain balls. Speaking of weird death perception, I cleared that too. Why not? You're totally gonna make it past this one. Which is just fine, because it's probably- <laughs> That's stupid! <laughs> you dodged it just as much as the other one. I know. Rule of thumb with those things, if it looks like you dodged it, you haven't. Keep moving. <laughs> I love that. You're like, oh wait, don't forget, I have to hit myself first. <laughs> I think I get teleported for like, no reason right there. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a, uh pattern to it where you fly through those pillars and then it takes you to somewhere different but I I do not want to bother and you just got hit by one of those chain things again when you cleared it this, this land is made for death how big is that fucking hitbox well right there I can guarantee I did I just didn't care <laughs> crystals points 
points, birds. Points, birds, life points. Don't know how I missed the one to the right, but I got that one. I don't know what you did to piss off this bird populace, but I don't know why they're all pissed off and after you. You can just hey. assume everything is part of the Garden Empire. Playing parrots. Just assume they're all <laughs> evil. Did that, did that one hit your finger? I mean... <laughs> that wasn't, wasn't even close! Okay, clearly, you should not aim for the heart in which you're dying. Go for the fire one, why the hell not? I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about the Adok bomb, frankly. You're looking over your life, you go, oh shit. <laughs> Do I get hit again? I can't remember. I love their t those monster things' teeth. Yeah. It's such, it's so not monster. <laughs> <laughs> See the point of this level, I think. I don't know how killing the heads affects it much more than that's one less attack you have to worry about. But you want to wait until their pincer arms are out of the way, then you shoot the thing on its chest. Children, this is what lives in your closet. Mm. AKA Gingivitis. Pixar wants you to think it's Sully and Mike. No, it's this thing. <laughs> it, Disney totally stole their idea for Bomb Man Hero. That makes total sense. <laughs> That's the highest point count I ever got. Woo! And didn't add any more points, damn it. No. Ice Snake. Here's one of the many scourges of my life. Not only for perverted namesakes, but I'm sure for many more. Well, this level is a dick, don't worry. Right. <laughs> this one is blocking its bombs with its terrible attack, that's good. Now, why this level is a dick? That thing. Oh, hi, a snake thing again. <laughs> this time they're flying. They're coming right at me. And, uh... Eventually... Another one shows up. So I have two of these assholes to deal with. And they spin around in this weird little corkscrew. Uh, occasionally diving at me. Sometimes not. You need to aim, aim for the head, but usually they get too high for you to hit. Or they're too far away, so... It takes me a while, but finally I get them. It's a being called Snake Eyes. Sorry, I had to, <laughs> I had to go there with it. Anyway, kill him, kill him. I did. The, the other one, however, just doesn't want to come down. But I finally get him too. I really like how when you kill them, they just stand still and open and close their mouths. I like how a lot of these enemies during the portions where they die, they have to kind of sit there and think. <laughs> they one got hit and went, huh? Maybe I should be doing something else. I never went to college and bleh. I never finished my cousin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, my God, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one doing? <laughs> it's like when you watch, like, Little League and you see the outfielders at a baseball game. They're just kind of they're picking flowers and spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate those guys. And their faces. I hate their faces. Of course. Oh. I can imagine he w he was told to defend that one platform, and he's, he took it to heart. He's doing a 360 sweep of the entire level. Alright, no one will get behind me. Well, of course they're not going to get behind me, but I'll just make sure. <laughs> and I didn't notice until rewatching the level, I actually walked right past a crystal. Oh, balls. And look, dragons. Yeah, more dragons. Dragon's on Ice Snake. <laughs> the Ice Snake's a dragon. See, this just seems to get fall. The depth perception issue. Yeah. I don't know how thick that beam is. But alright. One anyway in good fashion. Glad that's done. Let's beat the shit out of some cats. <laughs> oh, cat and a four-legged something Robot. spider. Yeah. <laughs> Robot with eye that has shoving lasers. <laughs> or apparent, maybe it gains death lasers, I don't know, but at first it's just like, ah, I just want to shove it over. <laughs> oh, my back! <laughs> that was slightly inconvenient. <laughs> well, fuck, now I'm in jail, though. <laughs> A jail you can easily escape. Yeah. I always love that clever um, villain convention where it's like, 
oh god, this is the person that's been trying to stop us. Ha, huh, we catch it, captured him. We'll just put him in jail and ignore him. I'm sure things will be fine. <laughs> Don't even put a guard in front of it. <laughs> Why don't we put one of those spike head things with the eyebrows? They'll totally guard the door. What is it doing? Well, the door in the entire other room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you meant that jail. There's only one jail. You meant that room. God damn it. <laughs> those will be my Ricks, I think. Those are <laughs> I dub the enemy Rick. <laughs> you know, you, it looks like there was no guard. I can't imagine that hand thing counted either. Yeah, not really. Didn't have even eyes. It just kind of spun. Yeah. I really wanted just one of them to run, just roll out the side, just fall into a hole. <laughs> like many of the enemies in this game. And out of, like, out of nowhere, like, that's usually not programmed into them. Just watching that happen once would make my day. You know, I kind of realized, I think I just realized it just now, and I'm not sure if it, I'm correct, but do any of the enemies beyond bosses have legs? Any of them. Well, there was that monkey in the ice. But it wasn't even using its legs. It was using its arms. <laughs> like, it, it had nubs, but that doesn't count. Like, have you seen an enemy walking with legs? I think you're right. I know. What the fuck? What is... What's so hard about leg animation? Everything's a ball of some kind. Like, the bosses are the only things with legs. Even then, I mean... Let's see. End all... Kind of didn't have legs, it just kind of flopped. Because it only had feet. The bird didn't use its legs because it's a bird. Don't. Even the lion thing didn't walk! It's. Well, no, it did walk, it just didn't go anywhere. Okay, that had legs. Okay, that thing had legs. Nothing else has legs. <laughs> what the fuck is going on?